Moncton conservative candidate Robert Gauguin got a boost from candidate and federal defense minister Peter McKay today. Jennifer Choi was there and has this report. And uh, like the Montreal Canadiens, we cannot let up in overtime. Going hard in the last few days of the election campaign is exactly what Peter McKay is trying to do. He arrived early this morning, posing for photo ops and answering questions. McKay took time out of his own campaigning to support Moncton River UDF candidate Robert Gauguin. McKay used his high-profile status in eroding his party lost by only 1,500 votes in the last election. Clearly, this is a target riding. Uh, we feel it's a riding that uh, wants to go conservative. And we want to give people every reason to believe it will go conservative. Well, it's very important. It's a boost to all the workers, and it shows that you know the elected officials in Ottawa, the very high-ranking officials from Ottawa, are paying attention to this riding. It's every riding is important, but this one is, I guess, identified as one that's a hot seat. You know. Gauguin isn't relying on McKay's presence alone. New campaign signs with political faces from the past and present are popping up, but the incumbent Liberal candidate isn't phased. But I think the signs with Brenda Robertson in them, I mean, she's been uh, removed from the, the provincial stage for a long time, are quiet acts of desperation realizing that they're not going to win this riding. After McKay left to target ridings on PEI, Gauguin and the riding's three other candidates headed to a Moncton high school. While the NDP candidate isn't going as far as saying the Conservatives are desperate, she has her own opinion. It's like if we don't have the signs out there to say that we have, you know, the rest of our party backing us, it's, it's like the general public's not realizing that. But um, I, I believe I have the full support of all of our, our provincial NDPers. While Brian Murphy points fingers at Peter McKay's visit, he's also bringing in a well-known liberal to show support in the riding. My friend Bob Ray and Dominic LeBlanc were planning to have this rally for both Dominic and my riding from the get-go at the end of the campaign to rally the base. This is, in the last few days, I think about rallying the base and trying to pick off disaffected voters. The campaign is wrapping up, but what candidates are doing and what they're saying is ramping up. It's coming down to the wire, and in this riding, candidates can't afford to sit back because anything can happen. Jennifer Choi, CBC News, Moncton.